I'm Dr. Yechua and welcome to Adjusting Your Heart. Today marks our 100th episode. So please do subscribe and check out our previous videos on mental health and relationships. Our topic today is how to be a happy empty nester. An empty nester refers to someone whose children have grown up and left home. This usually leads to a phenomenon called the empty nest syndrome, in which parents experience feelings of sadness and loss. May the three tips I'm going to share help you cope. Tip number one, realign your goals. After investing much of your time, energy, and money in raising up your children, it is very normal to feel a sense of loss and sadness, especially when they leave the house, one after the other, whether it's to study or work abroad or to get married. Give yourself time to cry and mope around the house, but only for a little while. Afterwards, start rebuilding your life without the kids. Think about what you and your spouse wanted to do before, but you lack time or money. Come up with couple goals together. If your spouse has passed away, then come up with personal life goals. That's what our wedding godparents, Mr. Peter and Mrs. Juana Lau did. After becoming empty nesters, they do a lot of fun things together singing, ballroom dancing, playing golf, and traveling. Just recently, they flew from Toronto to Vancouver to celebrate my uncle Jose's and Auntie Letty's birthdays. Then they all went on a local tour. Look at how happy they all were. Amy and Randy English from Mississippi, USA decided to do a photo shoot after their 22-year-old Haley Marie moved out of their house. Haley posted the pictures online and they went viral and has been shared more than 150,000 times. There's a pic in which they pretended to be sad and the next pic showed them laughing with a placard saying, ha ha, just kidding. One pic showed them holding a dog each with a sign saying, our favorite kids. Haley said that she believed her parents will move into a smaller house rather than stay in their five bedroom house and they will travel and spend more quality time together. After 33 years of raising four kids together, Juan and Dalila Paris of Park, Texas joined the Empty Nesters Club. They celebrated with a fun-loving photo shoot by Melissa Ann Photography. Look at their lovely pictures. As you can see, they are excited to embark on their empty nest adventures. Tip number two, build and rekindle friendships. Utilize this phase of your life to reconnect with old friends. Maybe friends from high school, college, parents of your children's classmates, former colleagues, and the like. Invite them for coffee and see how they respond. If they are interested, good. If not, it's okay. Look for other people. Establish new friends. Join hobby clubs, civic associations, Support groups, church activities. Say hi to people you often see in the gym or when you play sports. And I hope you'll be able to gain more friends. Tip number three, do something worthwhile. With all the extra time and money that you have as empty nesters, do something worthwhile. You can volunteer in orphanages or animal shelters. You can also join church activities, minister to the elderly, Teach classes to indigent people for free. Mentor younger men and women. Doing so won't only make others happy, it also makes you feel fulfilled. Empty nesters Gary and Pamela Willis from California can attest to them. In 2018, CBS 8 featured the tragic story of seven siblings whose parents were killed in a car accident. Though the children were all thrown from the vehicle and suffered injuries, they miraculously survived. Ages 2 to 13 at that time, the children were in foster care. So, when Ruby was asked what was her Christmas wish, she said that it was getting adopted together by one 
forever family. When Pam saw the video, the children instantly captured her heart. But she wasn't sure how her husband Gary would react. So she simply tagged him in the post and waited. With her fifth and youngest biological child about to graduate from high school, Gary and Pam decided to adopt all seven of them. They were all very grateful for what Gary and Pam did. And they recounted how they were homeless a few times, living in and out of shelters with hardly any food. After the children's adoption was finalized in August 2020, their oldest daughter created a 15-second video of the couple's life, and they became Instagram sensations overnight. It was even shared by Kristen Bell and Michael Bublé. Check them out in IG, Second Chance 7. We'll put the links below. How to be a happy empty nester? Number one, realign your goals. Number two, build and rekindle friendships. Number three, do something worthwhile. We'd like to thank some friends who have been there to encourage us. Arthi Dionko, Beverly Shangguan Cheng, Finette, Kenneth Ko, Gado Simor, and Lucy Ui. If you're blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, and click on the notification button and share it to others. Do leave comments below like maybe you have some tips on how to be happy empty nesters. Follow Adjusting Your Heart in Facebook, IG, TikTok, and Signal GCTV 185. Our topic next week will be what to do after retirement. Stay safe, everyone.